Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name's Andrea and I love, love, love the Pilates method of exercise. If you're new, welcome. My channel is all about digging deep into the traditional Joe Pilates exercises and making the most out of them for your body, whether you're a teacher or an enthusiast. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I have a request for a teaser progression video on the mat. And there is one on the reformer that I will link below. And thank you so much to the lovely, lovely subscriber that requested this video. And today we're going to look at, um, if you're watching this in the future, we are in the middle of quarantine uh, 2020, September of 2020. And perhaps some of you who are teachers uh, and some of you who are enthusiast practitioners that are unable to go to a studio or be in a studio of apparatus and so maybe you're teaching a lot of people that only have the mat and maybe you're someone that's doing only the mat and sometimes for certain exercises the teaser um, getting more proficient at the teaser without the use of the entire studio of apparatus uh, does take a little bit more time it can be done and you can master the teaser by doing it over and over and over again in all your Pilates workouts throughout the year of 2020. All of you are getting so strong on your mat work. Um, but there are some versions of the teaser that are helpful for certain aspects of the exercise. There are some little props I'm going to suggest that can double as tiny little spine correctors and small barrels. And uh, first we're going to talk about, you know, if you have trouble doing the teaser and uh, being proficient at doing it at all and then we'll talk about once you can do the teaser what where you can take it from there the teaser one two three all of that kind of stuff so the first thing I'm going to say is that do all of your exercises on the mat and uh, if you're new here when I teach the mat I'm doing the same exercises over and over and over again and my clients that only have a mat at home they are doing their mat exercises exclusively with, you know, an ending here on the wall or some standing things or, you know, some supplemental things at the end. Um, but the mat portion of their workout is always the same and until they get to a point where it's time for a new exercise. And the teaser, if you get to that exercise, you've got a couple options. and. Let's talk about what you're doing in your mat work that's going to help you even get to the teaser first. So you're doing your roll up, you're rolling like a ball, your open leg rocker, and all the things that are teaching you how to control your body as it rolls up and down from somewhere. And maybe you get to the point where you're adding in the teaser and it's the first time or that you're doing it, or it's an exercise you've done before, but you know, there's a little sticky spot and it's hard to make it up and it's hard to do it without thrusting yourself forward, using momentum instead of control. So let's talk about the first way you might learn the te to do the teaser in a studio setting. Your teacher is with you in the same room and maybe your teacher is standing at your feet so that when you are preparing to do the teaser, you send your legs out to them they hold on to your legs and support them while you learn how to come up with their assistance. So if we're at home in 2020, we don't have a teacher. We might have a friend, someone in our household, a nice husband, a nice wife that would take the place of the, te the teacher helping you with the teaser. <laughs> so if you have that, that's great. <laughs> so let's talk about what that might look like. So the teacher is standing up. I don't know if you can see all of me, but you really just need to see this part of me. So you're lying on the floor, the person helping you is standing, and you're going to take the person's feet and put them right onto your thighs and hold them there. So that when they roll up, you can take their hands, you're going to help them roll up, and you're going to help them roll down. Hold on to your center so that you are safe in this position too. So that's one option. If you have a friend in your household that can help you and pretend to be your teacher, it's not hard to do to be standing there. So that's one option. If you don't have that person at home with you, you can substitute having your feet against the wall. Now the wall is much more, is much less forgiving than the person. So you're going to stand your feet on the wall and you're going to try to keep pressing your feet into the wall as you roll up and down to try to do your teaser. 
And sometimes as you roll back, you know, the feet come off the wall and you sort of crash down. And sometimes the wall is, you know, not forgiving, so when you push into it, if something is prohibiting you, if you're stiff in your back, it might, it might be hard to come up anyway, even with your feet against a wall. But I urge you to try one of those versions first, because it is very informative, even if it is not ultimately successful, and, and the, they don't come up all the way in the teaser, they're still getting a lot of feedback, a lot of work in their stomach. And you can combine this teaser with another one that starts from the top. So, so this one where you have the wall or your friend, you're starting from a lying down position. And now we're gonna talk about one that starts in a sitting up position uh, that you can use in conjunction with that one. So that we're kind of, you know, whittling away at the teaser from all angles a little bit since we're, you know, here we are on the mat. Okay, so the one where you start sitting up, you're gonna, just gonna sit like this and for now, if someone's new to it, don't care too much about how they get back into their teaser position because it's going to look different for every person's body, strengths, and weaknesses. So you just want them to pull their stomach in and roll backward to the point where they can come up to a teaser and, and be in control. And maybe they can come up and be in control and that's really hard. And that's all they do. And then they get to sit again. And that's one. So that would be step one. They pull their stomach in, they roll back to the point of like a little bit of counterbalance, they come up to the teaser, they try to control themselves in the position, you know, lifting themselves, standing in the air, that sort of stuff, and then they sit again. This teaser you can do three times. So I just did it twice. So let's say they can do that part. They can get back there, they can hold their position, and that's become manageable. So then you're going to work on the control to roll down, not all the way down, just to the, to the tips of your shoulder blades at the maximum, because then you're going to come back up. This is a very strengthening teaser. And for a while, just they, it might not look like they're going anywhere. So they're pulling their stomach in, they're coming out to the position, this is really hard already, and they're trying to like move a little without tanking it and come up a little bit. They're just trying to sort of see where they can go. And you might watch and you might think nothing's going on. <laughs> They're doing a lot of work. And so over time, that will increase to where they can go down a little bit more. And you'll know it when you see it. Their, their shape will change a little bit and they'll really get more into the place that's going to help them roll up and down. That's the moment you're waiting for. You want to let them figure it out, get stronger. This may take a lot of time. You may think nothing's happening. I thought nothing was happening, but it, it will happen. It will just happen a little bit slowly. Be patient, do it every time, frequency, not duration. If they do this one, this is how you'll do it. You'll do three of the following thing. So you'll pull your stomach in, you'll come up to the position, You'll go, they'll go down as much as they can and up a little bit. They'll pull their stomach in to go down a little bit and come up again. They'll pull in a little bit more and come up again, and they'll sit. So three times within each repetition, three times. And that's all, you, just do that. If you want to couple it with the one with the feet against the wall, you could do that too. This one is also fine on its own. It depends really on, you know, the stamina of the person, the attitude of the person, and how much they like the teaser. <laughs> so once they kind of figure it out in their own body and they can start, start to, to move a little bit, maybe they're not going all the way down, but there is starting to build strength and range, then you can give them a little bit of assistance with a little bolster if necessary. Because some people have a little bit of a, you know, a sticky spot or a spot that doesn't move very well and it makes rolling up and down challenging. I have a little bit of that too, and you probably do too, and you can use the cushion to figure out what it feels like before you give it to someone else if this is new. So this cushion can be used for all the things where you roll up and down. And so I'm just going to do it in the roll up to give you the, the uh, idea, and then I'll use it in the teaser. So you're going to put it behind your back, above your sacrum, you want to find the spot in the front that's the hardest to access, and that's where it goes behind you. So that your stomach pulling in in the front can find something to, to give it some information behind you. 
and it's going to make that spot come, al come alive and get to be strong. So I'm just making sure. And you can either, either put it on the mat and try to kind of find where it needs to go, or you can put it in your pants so it's always with you. Just take it out before you go to the grocery store. <laughs> so I have it behind me. I'm going to curl up and I'm going to pull that low spot into the cushion behind me. I actually need it a little closer. And then I'm going to seek out the cushion with my belly. And it's going to help that area of my stomach stay nice and long and lifted and not bear down in the mat. I'm going to do it one more time. It's like a little bit like the princess and the pea, right? Oh yeah, so now it's right behind the spot that's really hard for me to access on both sides. So arms up. I'm going to lift from the base of my trunk and lift my belly in and up into that cushion. Oh. And stretch forward. So this cushion will do the same job as this one. This particular one is a little bit too big for me. This is more my size, but depending on the size of your person, the stiffness of your person, the difficulty with you know what their back looks like in the exercise, this may this is squishy, but this might be a good size as well. And basically, if something is small, you could roll up a towel. It's basically just going to make it a little more challenging the smaller the cushion is. Um, okay. So now let's try it in the teaser. The cushion will be behind them. And they should know what they're doing by this point so that you don't give them something extra to deal with in this cushion. They know they've done the exercise for a while. You're pulling your stomach in and now you're pulling it into the cushion to come back up. And you're pulling it into the cushion to go back down. And then you're pulling the lift into the cushion to come back up. They'll do it three times. And the lowest they'll go is to the tip of the shoulder blade and then they'll pull it in and come back up. And then they'll sit. So this little cushion can help take their teaser that's already kind of starting to progress to the next level. Because they can use this cushion for lots of things to get their rolling up and down better. They can use it for rolling like a ball. Because it helps them have to pull into the cushion to control, and control the, this part of it, the balancing part. They can do it in open leg rocker. They can use it to roll down out of the jackknife. All of those things. And by the time you're working with your person on these exercises, you know, they know their body too, and they'll, they'll be able to determine which exercises they can mine the most benefit out of the cushion. It's not necessary that they use it in every exercise, but if it serves them, it's a really nice way to really address that area and build some strength only using the mat exercises and the cushion. Okay, so we have the person standing there, the feet on the wall teaser, the teaser that starts from above, that we just did, using the cushion to take that teaser to the next level. So now your person, they're using this, they're getting more range in the exercise, and they're starting to find more control and get more um, down toward this part of the exercise. Then you can start seeing if they can roll down and maintain control and make it all the way down. And once they can do that, you can see, you know, they know what to do now, they can come back up, maybe. They still may not be able to do three in a row, that, that takes a lot of strength and stamina, but you're on your way. And then once they can do the exercise unassisted or with the cushion, and they can roll up and down, then you can start to build in all of the teaser variations, which are only going to make what their basic skill of, I can now do the teaser, that's gonna be challenged because now you're gonna demand that they do teaser one, they were good at it because maybe they started with their legs up in the air already and they kind of know that that's going to happen. So let's just review teaser one, teaser two, and teaser three. So teaser one starts lying down. And there's various ways you can start with the legs like this. But once they get strong enough to do the teaser, especially if they've done that sitting one, they can start with straight legs. Maybe. You'll know your person or yourself best. So the arms will come up, they'll come up to the teaser one, the legs will stay where they are, and then they'll roll the body down. They'll do that three times. And maybe they need to build up the strength and they can't go all the way down and they need to bring their legs in. That's not terrible. 
So they've done teaser one. Let's say they did it, they finished, and they came all the way back down again. So then you can introduce, after they've been doing teaser one for a while, you can say stay up, and then if you can lift your arms to the ceiling, can you lower and lift your legs three times? Or even one time. And then they'll roll everything down again. And then once they can do teaser one or teaser three, you can introduce that teaser two where the legs lower and lift. And really, you know, we as teachers, you know, or enthusiasts, you know, maybe we want to do like 10 sets of teasers <laughs> or five sets of three teasers, but really you can pick the best teaser that works for them. Maybe it's the one they enjoy the most, maybe. You can do three and move on. There's lots of other exercises. So I hope that answers some of your questions on ways to progress the teaser on the mat, by yourself, at home, maybe. <laughs> and if there are questions that you have about any aspect of the teaser exercise that I did not mention, please do leave me a comment below. I'm happy to join the conversation in the comments. And thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I will include some related blog material on the teaser. And I will also put the links for where you can get these two little cushions because some people have been using a towel, a rolled up towel at home, but it kind of smooshes out after a little while. And I think the sponginess of the foam is a little bit better feedback according to my clients that have used the towels. So I will leave, leave those links in the box below as well. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great day. I hope you got a lot out of this video and this teaser that everyone struggles with, it seems. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!